French and Saunders, high heeled into space, bubble and squeak, women's theatre sweatshop. <laughs> and we'd like to do a piece of performance art for you here this evening. It's a poem, actually, I that I have with written. It. Get on with it. It's a poem I've written, and it's called Birth, Bloody Birth. <laughs> <laughs> you were a sperm. You were an egg. Now you're an armpit and you're a leg. <laughs> you're a head. You're a head. You're ahead of space and time. <laughs> You're in my womb, a womb with a view. <laughs> and there's a little umbilical pipe pumping food into you. You're ahead of love and truth. And soon, my dear, must come the time for me to have my waters break. <laughs> the crippling pain, the dribbling slime. <laughs> and I shall stand in that glorious lake. <laughs> and now, and now's the time, my dear, for you to not be coy. Crash through the orifice, come into the world. <laughs> Crash through the orifice, come into orifice. the world. I can't find the orifice, can I? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've just got to find the birth passage. Um, it's down here. It's here. It's here. Oh, 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 oh. Crash through the orifice, come into the world. <laughs> Thank God you're not a boy. <laughs> Like to clear away the afterbirth, but if you do up all the poppers, I can't get out. I Come know on. that. And go. Only women bleed. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. And we've got a fabulous show lined up for you this evening with a huge, huge star. Who can it be? <laughs> well, I can't tell you her name now, but I'm sure the whole audience here in the studio at home will know who I'm talking about. <laughs> she's very glamorous, she's sparkly and very amusing, and one of my many, many show business friends, oh, yes. God. But first, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fabulous French and Saunders Hot Hoofers, accompanied by our orchestra, Raw Sex, doing a typical French knife and onion dance. <laughs> Ooh la la. Personality, love. Personality. 
suit me better. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Shall I do it myself? Lovely, lovely. But I just like to go on with my makeup, thank you. Oh, girls, would you like to see the yeah. face? Yes! Yeah. 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 no one putting makeup on Miss Walters. No, no, I'm doing it myself, thank you. Oh, Jennifer, right. would you like to see the pictures of my baby? No, perhaps Miss Walters would like to see oh, the pictures. Jennifer no, Walters, I don't want to look at any baby, thank you. She doesn't want to look at any baby. Well, perhaps you'd like to have a quick word about the interview we'll be doing this evening. Yes, please. Right. Well, it'll be on sofas. Normal sorts of questions, favourite colours, likes, dislikes, favourite pop groups, working with Michael Caine on educating Rita and really any funny <laughs> anecdotes you can think of about the Victoria Wood Show. And then after that, I thought we'd both end on a few bars of feelings, you know, spontaneously, something light and fun, Miss Walters. Listen, I am not Julie Walters. <laughs> 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 Julie T. Julie T. Walters, Walters Jennifer J. Saunders. No, 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 no. Watch my lips. <laughs> Julie T. Wallace. Well, you know. Can <laughs> I ring a bell now? No! Is it still worth interviewing you or not? Well, of course. That's why I'm here. I mean, I have been on the Terry Wogan show, you know. Oh! Oh, I suppose that makes it all right, then, doesn't it? I suppose you might as well still use the caravan that we got from Miss Walters originally. No, I'd much rather just have a quiet, ordinary dressing room, thank you. Dawn has towed that caravan into the quad all on her own. Now, will you please just use it? Go on with the show, everybody. And try and be funny, will you? It is a light entertainment show, you know, Miss Walters. Great grim photo. What a foul woman! Passion, Peter, passion. God, no. Oh, listen to this one here. Listen to this one here. Yeah. Sexy Sue. In her slippers. Yeah. She's looking for something more substantial to keep her warm at night. Let's have a look at her. Let's have a look at her. Whoa, oh, she's begging for that. I could give her one. I'll give her two. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, I'll give her ten. Oh, yeah, begging for her. I'll give her twelve. Twelve. I'll give her a hundred. I'll give her a hundred. Yeah, two hundred. Two hundred and not even work of a sweat that's going on. Oh, she's begging me for it. Disgusting now, you know. It is disgusting. Ah, it's disgusting as yeah. people want to burn that. I know. Yeah, yeah. Just a fresh faced, lovely, natural girl like that, oh, earning a bit of money. And Look at her. Lovely it. English oh, rose. No, she is. She's gorgeous. Yeah, well, you know who wants to burn it, she's don't you? Rich. Who's that? Only queers and Lebanon. Queers and Lebanon. <laughs> <laughs> With love and laugh, Storm French. Comedian. Who is it you're writing to there? Oh, I'm writing that? to Yvonne and Debbie of Hounslow. Oh. Well, they just dropped me this little note to say that our show was a load of sexist rubbish. Oh, good. So good. I thought the poem would sort them out. <laughs> <laughs> what are all these other letters here? Oh, these? these? Oh, this is just my fan mail. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, you bring yours into work, do you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't, you see. Were it to be far too heavy for me to carry all my fan mail in? Yes, of course it would. What does that one say, then? What, this one here on the top? Yes. Do you want me to read it to you? Mm. Oh, all right, then. It's the usual old thing. 
Dear Dawn, blah, 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 blah. You're certainly the funniest in the show. You should have your own series. Blah, 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 blah. Why are you working with that talentless Saunders woman? Let me see that one. Let me see that. Honestly, I get letters like this every day and I just scratch them up and I put them in the bin because it's the same as everyone else is telling me in the business. What is, what is? Well, everybody in show business is just saying to me all the time, why on earth are you still with that blood-sucking old witch of a has-been Saunders? That old blood-sucking, desperate witch of a... Um, I, uh... Did you just make that up? I, well, I... It wasn't... Because if you just made that up, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Jen, I promise, I didn't make it up. It's what everybody in show business is genuinely saying about you. Oh, well, that's right then. Yeah, as long as it's the truth. Yes. Yes. It's a lie. I wouldn't lie yeah, to you, Jen. I wouldn't lie to you, honestly. Truth, that's OK. Is um, Julie here yet, then? Yeah, she's here, but it's not who you think it is. Oh, it's not Julie T. Wallace? Yes, it is Julie T. Wallace, but it's not Julie Walters who you think it yeah, is. No, it's Julie T. Wallace, you know. Mm. Where are you going now? Where I just where are you going? to look at her. She doesn't want to be ogled by you, does she? Well, she's an actress. They don't get looked at by people. Come and see. Well, I could just look at her for two seconds, couldn't I? One second. Thank you. Look at one second. Do you want to do it in order? Lovely. Not much room in here, is there? Still. Never mind. Yeah, well, you're a bit fuller than you were at the costume fitting, dear. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't have any fitting. This oh. is my own outfit. Oh, my God. Look, Em, will she be much longer in there? Because I'd really like to go myself. Oh, God, will I find out? Are you ready in there, dear? Yes, I'm ready. Well, come on down. Right, oh, here I come. Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. oh. oh it's recent, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't really like Oh, I said it. you wouldn't Sorry. like her. Sorry. No. Would you excuse me, please? Oh, don't bother, Jill. There's no paper Just in there. Just sit down, dear, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I know this one yeah. straight away. This blouse on is a Debbie Greenwood. Correct. It's a breakfast tie. Correct. And it's June 85. All oh, right. Correct, Jill. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And the big story of the day was? Big story. Queen Mum swallows fish bowl. Oh. 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 She's still with us. Oh, Debbie Greenwood. No, Queen Mum, dear. Debbie got the chop. Oh, thank, thank God. God. <laughs> oh, no, not bad. Look, um, could you just check my costume? You look lovely. Yes, yes. it's very nice, dear. Now, the nice thing about Cortel. Oh, no, look, like look, would you mind if I had some time on my own? I'm an actress and I'd like to prepare. Oh, God, oh. do that, dear. We've got to stow the frog. We're dressers, we? we stay. No! <laughs> oh, and I know how to look after it. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Go now, you're sorry, dear. <laughs> Yeah, I lied about the paper. <laughs> well, look now, ladies. Gypsy will be visiting us in just two minutes. Two minutes now, ladies. Two minutes now. Come in now. We're going to close in two minutes. Two minutes. Gypsy will be visiting us in just two minutes. Three, please. That's right, love. 50p. That includes the waxworks and refreshments. Thank Go straight you. through, please. Gypsy. Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome to Skegness's famous Spiritorama. Now, there's a few things I must say before the gypsy blesses us with her totally genuine presence. First of all, the 50p that you have paid includes a mini carton of umbongo and a Garibaldi biscuit. <laughs> we shall partake of these after the spirits have visited us. The Romany will be trying her very hardest to contact the unliving few here today. <laughs> but linking with the dead is a chance thing, as I'm sure we all know. And should she come across an ectoplasmic block, she knows that you will understand. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? Well, sit back now and enjoy the most famous seventh daughter of the Skegness district. Gypsy cup of tea. <laughs> Are you with us, Gypsy? I am on this plane, yes. <laughs> Are you ready to travel? I am prepared, yes. Shall we go beyond, then? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. The spirit light has settled upon your head there, madam. And I hear a little voice in my ear. And it's telling me that you are female. Yes. <laughs> and that your name has a vowel 
in it somewhere. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh, yes, Gypsy. Absolutely yes. right. Do you mean Christian or surname? Well, you know, don't you, love? You know in your heart. <laughs> yes, 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 I do. Yes, well, sadly, the aura's having to leave you now, and it's visiting this side of the room. You, there, madam, you. Oh, goodness. No, don't be nervous. The spirits don't mean to harm you, it's just that they're very frightening. <laughs> Who is it you are wishing to contact? Well, it's my husband, Jock. Husband Jock, love. Ah, husband yes. Jock. Yes, I was just going to say I can hear distant bagpipes in my ear. <laughs> I'll buy you the new broad brick moon like Nick and Miss Mehagis. Would that be him, love? Yes, 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 I see. Yes. He's saying something, he's mumbling about a Rob, a rabbi, a wee rabbi. A rabbi, something. Oh, that'll be Robbie Burns, the poet. Right, yes, and did your Jock know of this Robbie Burns? Oh, yes, I suppose. Thank you, dear. Thank you for being honest there. It's very important. Ladies, that we only take that which is completely Not true. Completely Thank true. Thank you. I must just talk to my spirits for a second. Talking to my spirits. Oh, no. Oh, 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 get into a line, all of you. I can't hear you all at once, for goodness sake. You with the brown hair, get to the back. Yes, somebody come to the front. That's it. Speak up, love. You're fading, you're fading. Yes, yes. Oh, I see. Right, ladies, I've got a gentleman talking to me a here. Gentleman. A gentleman who has... Gone over. Gone over. <laughs> He's wanting to talk to a lady in the now zone. That's us, ladies. That's us. A lady with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And he's telling me the dog is a spaniel. A sp Who would that be? <laughs> Excuse me. I've got a whippet. Oh, would it be a whippet? <laughs> would it be a whippet? Uh, love, have you confused a spaniel with a whippet? <laughs> as a spaniel, it's isn't it? No, it's a racer. Yes, yes, he's telling me that you go to the races. No, not me. My son. Yes, he's telling me that your son goes to the races. Oh. And he says that he loves you, dear. He oh. loves you. And he says, do you remember Mario Lanza? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you don't now, love, but you will. It will be important to you. Will you take that from me, love? Will you take oh, that from thanks. me? Thanks. 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 Bang on the oh. cosmic accuracy there, ladies. Right. Bang on there. Oh. Excuse me. I'd like to ask a question. Well, we don't normally... Um, we, we don't normally... It says in the Old Testament we should not disturb the spirit, so how come you have the right to? of the Gypsy's famous book on the paranormal, Eek, it's behind me and it smells like burning flesh. <laughs> and a selection of her ectoplasmic ceramics. <laughs> so please pick one up on your way out. Good afternoon. Right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And now, please give a loud hand for another great, great show business friend of mine, Mr. Eddie Idris, the Mad Hatter. Bishop, 
has been taunting my June again. But just now, when she come off after the cafe number, she says she caught sight of something behind his congas that rendered her speechless and distressed, as you can see. Now, are you going to sort that out once and for all? Thank you. You shouldn't wear your glasses, June. Spitting in my face. I know. Come with the music in the show, but if you're going to keep your job here in the toilets, can you do something about these horrible calendars? They just encourage Dwayne. Emergency! You've got to spend a shilling! Do <laughs> anything I do, will you? No, this is family. That's a sister. Dwayne! She's my cousin. Dwayne! Do something about yourself, please. I've had a complaint. Um, do you know yet whether Miss T. Wallace will be using these conveniences? Oh, well, I can't honestly say, Ken. She's got her own Elsan, you see, in the caravan. She managed to use that. <laughs> oh! You didn't hear that, did you? No, we're not listening to you. <laughs> oh, here she is. Oh, Hang you, on. you. <coughs> Jen, mm? I'm sorry I got Julie T. Wallace for the show. I know you wanted Julie Walters, really. You did, didn't you? No, I didn't. I, I always wanted um, No, you said you hate Julie T. Wallace. I mean, I'm really sorry. It's just that Julie Walters was very expensive and Julie T. Wallace was cheap. No, I thought she was very expensive, wasn't she? A very high quality no, kind of... No, not at all. But listen, Jen, next time I see her, I'm going to say, hello, Julie T. Wally. You're a big Wally, aren't you? I'm going to say, Jennifer hates you. You Get out of the toilet now! Ow! No, we love her. <laughs> Sisters. No. Dwayne, Dwayne, your sisters, they're so completely pretty. Yeah. Oh. Promise me it's just number ones you're in there for. <laughs> Dwayne, I'll get you some cold mug and later. Oh. Julie, Julie, it was Dawn's little joke. Go she... away! I want to peddle in peace. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Could you just pass me one of the special brews, please? <laughs> <laughs> and a marvellous score there for the Australians. Yes, and stunning routines and wonderfully inspired costumes. And next, the British pair. Now, they're sisters, aren't they, Sean? Yes, indeed. Lindsay and Tracy McDonald. <laughs> As they begin their poolside routine, just a quick few words about their costume. Very impish green with a cheap little tilt to their hats. That'll charm the judges. Turnout is all important, isn't it, Sean? Oh, yes. And the end of the poolside routine, and they're in. <laughs> Plenty of splash there. Oh, yes, that's their trademark, Alan. A noted feature of their performance. Large amount of horse displacement with these two. Well, they open with their freestyle form there. Um, very popular in the British team, these girls. Oh, yes, great favourites. Two rays of sunshine, always smiling, those marvellous, brave smiles, as you can see. And now the start of the compulsory formations, the spinning lily. And their little legs will be going like egg whisks under the water, I expect. <laughs> And have you noticed they're both wearing silver nose clips, Alan? Ah, yes, yes, but, but look, look, they're in trouble. Oh, sorry to say, they're both swimming to the side of the pool. Can you see? Well, Alan, it's the common old problem of nasal congestion. They'll have a lot of phlegm behind those clips and they'll have to remove them to clear the passage. And here comes the attendant with his scoop to remove the congestion from the pool. And the hazardous to other swimmers, of course. Mm -hmm. And straight back to the compulsories. Perfect foot elevation there. The judges will, of course, be looking for the alignment and a relaxed body attitude. And straight now into the single hand elevation, followed by the very difficult single digit diagonal run. Uh oh, there's an error there. Lindsay has produced her index finger. She'll be losing points on that one. She certainly will. And I think we can cut to the underwater shots, Alan, so that we can get more of an idea of the tremendous body discipline necessary for this sport. Look at that. Marvellous. And we hear they're finishing on a cod leap, and here it comes. 
directly in front of the judges, and the crowd is going mad. What a wonderful routine. And I think the British team can safely feel pretty confident now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the celebrity interview spot where I shall be having an in-depth chat with one of Britain's most show-busy, eccentric, glamorous, sparkly and funny women. Yes, the big star that I've been promising you. Please give a loud hand for Miss Julie T. Wallace. The Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. A drink? A drink. A drink? Thank you, I shall. Ah, now, I've got a list of questions here, Miss T. Wallace, and I'll just run through them, if that's all right, one by one. All right, first question. What would your favourite colour be? And try and make it funny and put a smile on your face if that's at all possible. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage on a stick? No, thank Sausage you. Sausage on a I stick. I will, thank you. Right here. Yeah. May I say, first of all, Miss Saunders, what a horrible experience it has been to have been on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Never before have I been treated in such an appalling manner. And since I have no intention of answering any of Miss Saunders' silly little questions, I would like to present Going Potty with Julie T. Wallace. <laughs> the first thing, of course, one needs is some protection. Volleyball, perhaps? Go away! <laughs> <laughs> and music. Well, play something! <laughs> and of course we need clay. I usually grab what I call a healthy handful and whop it on the wheel. Add some water and with some expert thumb action one should soon have some sort of pot shape taking form. She's so sabotaging our show. I said we should have got Julie Walters. I, I have said, oh dear, this one's gone all wobbly still. Never mind, you grab another healthy handful and whoop it on the wheel like so. Nice pot of shit. Finale. 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 Nice bars also. Something. Please. Nothing more than Miss Wallace, 